Okay, we are back. Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, so hello uh, Brundlefly, Woozy, Mystical Machine Gun, and Mitchell. Great to see you all. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to continue more with Ghost Trick. Um, where we left off, uh, so we just saved our friend Detective Lin from being crushed underneath a giant chicken uh, ceiling decoration at this restaurant. Um, one of the detectives that she looks up to, Detective Jode, um, is about to be, uh, executed, like, in an hour. So, she told us to go to the prison and try to stop that execution from happening, while she herself goes to meet with the justice minister and try to, you know, prevent all that from happening legally. So, yeah, that's where we left off. So, it's gonna be intense, and, uh, but let's get right to it. Let's stop... Um, someone who's probably not guilty from dying. Okay. So yeah, we're chapter 8 out of 18. Ten fifty-five pm So they said the execution is supposed to happen sometime around 11, 11 p.m. I went to try and rescue prisoner D-99. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prison has a strange atmosphere. But this time, there's something even stranger about it. An execution. With my memory gone, I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head. But even I can sense the strong feeling of foreboding that hangs in the air. Maybe I'm too late? <laughs> I don't know if we're too late or not, but why is he breakdancing? So, how is it going? With the generator in the basement? They're trying to fix it now. It's gonna take a while, they said. They haven't even gotten the internal phone there back up yet. I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard room. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even here anymore at all. You promised not to talk about that. Look, would you knock it off with that weird flipping and flopping around? I can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I just might have to pound you. 
This? This is a glorious dance that's been passed down in my family for generations. Well, you don't know what else to do? Dance! 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 We call it the panic dance. <laughs> what about the saying of nobody panic? <laughs> oh, those are perfect amounts, Woozy. <laughs> I should just do that when I'm panicking. This is special detention, calling from the death chamber. The internal phone is finally back up. It's pitch black down here though, until they get the generator going again. How's it going up there? The phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Whoa, led with the raid, hello. How is everyone? <laughs> and how is your miniature painting? Yeah, great to see you all. Uh, dance till you're dead. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. And Glumly. Hey, great to see you both. <laughs> yeah, welcome in, everyone. Oh boy. We can't let the existence of this prison become known to the outside world. We'll have to round up the prisoners somehow. Is Bailey dancing? <laughs> Brought you some goth watchers. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, what we're stopping off is we're in a uh, special prison and we're going to uh, try to stop an execution from happening. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, how was your stream lit? Uh, yep, you should see him. Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. Once the generator is back up, I'll record it with the security camera. Okay, trick time. Uh, substantial amounts of tiny goth girls were successfully painted. Ooh, very nice. I'll need to check that out to see. <laughs> to see, goth girl, best girl. Generator, still not up. I can't keep this up much longer. Believe me, nobody's asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance? Instead, then? Me? You kidding me? Oh, for sure, Led. Uh, will you post it in your Rosie's Discord? <laughs> I can just see the final products. They look, look so fancy. Your painting skills are top notch. Somebody has to do it. He's speeding up. If that somebody is me, I'll keep dancing until I drop. <laughs> somebody stop him! Despite how it looks, the situation seems pretty serious. Bailey's dance is uh, certainly intriguing. But that telephone call that came in is even more interesting. The man said he was calling from the death chamber, eh? Now that I have the extension number, I should go check it out. Alright, let's dial down there. Oh, excellent, <laughs> excellent work, Woozy. Thank you so much <laughs> for your mod work. Okay, uh, internal extension. Uh, no, we want the external. <laughs> Is it the... No, no, it is internal. Okay. That's right, because we were in the death chamber before. I believe it was special detention? Yeah. Whoa, things seem pretty serious. This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I feel like a ghost is going to show up any minute now. 
Oh yeah, no problem, lad. Uh, have a good post-stream care, for sure. <laughs> Thank you again for the raid and for stopping by to hang out. Hey, come on. Show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right. Me. But, whew. I never saw that one coming. Did you? Who could have? Anyway, the generator is going to be fixed soon, so I guess we hang tight. Okay. Generator, eh? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. It seems that's the first thing that has to be done. Okay, so we need the light to come back on. I guess darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without light, I can still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. Yeah, the generator was in the left room, but... Okay, so I can't move the, the camera in ghost form. But I see those two guards. Um, wait, there's a guard in here! <laughs> okay, uh, power supply manipulate, wrench examine. I want to examine this wrench. I've seen these things before. Some kind of tool for turning things. It's leaning up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if he'll notice. Darn. It's too heavy. It won't budge. Oh jeez. Where did that wrench go? Without it, I can't tighten the last bolt on the generator. I sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Or like a ghost. <laughs> Just die. It'll be easy. You can see. <laughs> okay, so I can't move that. Can we manipulate this? This appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. Mm, but it doesn't seem to be responding. It's too dark to tell to really tell though. I guess the first thing I need to do is restore that generator. Okay. Also, there's a thing uh, dripping from the ceiling. Wait a minute. Hello! <laughs> is this the guy? <laughs> That's still uh, burying his way? He fell asleep. He's sleeping in there. The big guy seems to be taking a nap here. I doubt my paltry powers are enough to wake him. Rest in peace, curry lover. Hmm, it's kind of spooky when a ghost says it. Yeah, you would just say like, good night or sweet dreams. You wouldn't say rest in peace. <laughs> like, it's not like he's gonna die. <laughs> hey, Bowser, welcome in. It's great to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, dying is easy. It's undying part that's tricky. Yes. Okay, so I can't manipulate that. So how do I move over? Um, can I do something here? Who, who knows what I did? <laughs> uh, anything changed? No? Okay. Hmm. What do I... What do I do? Can't move that wrench. Is he gonna move around somewhere? No. Hmm. I wonder if I'm supposed to try to wake him up? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't think there's... Uh, is there a place where I can move on the left side, though? No, I can't reach it. Hmm. Wow, I wonder what in the world happened here. I have to look for Detective Jode. But should I try to do something about the situation first?
Okay, so he's not here. Uh, we've read the article. There's nothing there. Okay. Wastebasket open. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can't do anything here. What if I go to the top row? Ooh! Can I press the emergency button? I better not set off the emergency alarm right now. The inside of my head is already in a state of emergency as it is. Okay, my bad. Um, let's go to the top row. This feels like the van driver section all over again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit lost. I don't see any of the prisoners. Were they moved to another location? Hmm. No one to throw the note in. Okay, nothing that I can really do there. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check out the guard room again. <laughs> Doesn't anybody understand how this feels? To dance in the dark with nobody watching. Well, there's one thing you don't have to worry about. What's that? Even if the lights come back on, the nobody watching part ain't gonna change. Oh, that's a sick burn. <laughs> what did you say to me? That does it. Now you've made me all the more determined to dance. Oh, he's speeding up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so rude. Also, hello, Markajin. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, uh, yeah, no, there's nothing I could do there either. He's got some great dance moves, though. Okay, um, I, I am totally stuck. <laughs> I might need some help. So we're supposed to turn on the power generator, which is on the right side. Um, the guard seems to need... Can I, can I make it down there? No. The guard seems to need that wrench, but I don't know how to attract attention. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Never mind! We got it! <laughs> we got it! Hang on the water drop. Wait for it to fall down mid-air, and then switch over to the power generator. That must be it. Also, hello, Saber! <laughs> Great to see you as well! Okay, don't want to be in the bucket. Toolbox, open. Yes. Yes, we got his attention! Oh, hey, there it is. are back on. But what happened here? The answer is still shrouded in darkness. I'd better see if I can pick up some more information. I can't seem to shake this bad feeling I've got. Okay.
Wow, what happened here? Everything's destroyed. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What, what the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country has a death penalty. But how many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. It had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. I bet that's what happened. All that debris damaged the wiring. Well, I think it was divine retribution. D don't be stupid. The prisoner wanted to be executed, you know. Inspector Jode, I guess I was too late. So when are they going to pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. After we went hand over the body and clean up the uh, mortuary, we're done. Yeah, okay. Oh no, so we're way too late. This chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it's going to blow up again? Or let loose with the juice. Yikes! Shut up, man. Accidents can happen with anything, after all. But let's just get this fixed. Come on. If I'm executed by an accident, I'm going to come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why me? Sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm. A chair that gives shocks. Can I use that somehow? I don't feel comfortable with the water dripping around. So Detective Jode has already been executed. Looks like there was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. But that's okay. This isn't a big problem for me. But if the body is taken from the mortuary, that'll be bad. I have to use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. Okay, so we need to move over. Uh, somehow. <laughs> that lever does absolutely nothing. I sure had misgivings when I tried this lever. Nothing happened. Kind of disappointing, really. Maybe something else has to be done first? Something else has to be done for that lever to work? Like... Um... Oh, I'll give it a try. Some lamps came on. Not sure what that means. Maybe that changed the situation, though. Okay. Crank the liver? Ooh! <gasps> ah! I just got a shock! Oh, what's... <laughs> Can we open the toolbox? Oh, we... Okay, we can. All right, cool. We were able to hitch a ride. Um, still not enough though. Guess I'll have to be quicker, maybe. Hmm. Eh. Oh wait, there's a thing up there. Oh yeah, I can't reach it. Oh no, what do I do now? <laughs> Oh, the water droplets! Oh, that's so smart. Son of a- Okay, 
Okay. Same thing here. It looks like this is just an internal phone too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. All right. Let us talk to Detective Jode. From beyond the grave. Hey, can you hear me? Where am I? This is the ghost world, the land of the dead, Detective Jode. Detective Jode? Who is that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. Guess I'll just give the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, so I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room. But I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. Now I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash? Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me. I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lin I try to stop your execution. Lin? Hmm. Looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. I remember now. About Lin, Jode, and the execution. And what about you? Who are you? I'm Sissel. I'm looking for my memory, or trash as you call it. Sissel? Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry, it must not have been a very big piece of trash to me. That's alright. I guess you'll find out when you get your memory back. But for now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before your execution. Let's do it! Let's see if we can save him! And why did that whole execution room explode? Prison cell, a uh, special prison cell block. This is the past? Four minutes before my death? That's right. You'll get to see your own execution. And then we're going to change your fate. But first, can I ask you a question? Lynn told you, didn't she? About what I did? Yeah, she did. Then is it really the right thing to do to save a guy like me? I don't know. But Lynn believes it is. Okay, let's get started. It's clogged! I'm in position.
Hmm. So the time's finally here, huh? Yeah. I wonder how many years it's been. The last time... You weren't even here yet. I never thought I'd have to end attend an execution. But, you know... I wonder why the Justice Minister suddenly signed the order. There's definitely something up with that. Hey, come on! Let's just focus on our work. Yeah, alright. Prisoner D99, it's time. L let's go. All right, men. I'm ready. Sorry you have to go through this unpleasant experience. What? what No, we, uh... Oh, well. I guess it's all about collecting ex experiences. For you and for me. Prepare to test! Throw the switch! Whoa! So this is an execution, huh? It seems to me there's gotta be a safer way to do it. <laughs> it must be nice to have no memory like that. It makes things more interesting. I envy you. I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. That was an example of a failed execution. Although the outcome was the same. Failed? They haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs. I guess it had a short. So I guess that means that if I can stop the explosion... Hmm, I don't know about that. Then I'd just be executed as planned, and I'd still wind up just as dead. So, what should I do? Beats me. You're the one who came to save me. You figure it out. He's not making this easy. Okay, let's see how to turn, stop the explosion. Jeez, what a tall order. All right then, four minutes from now, this chair will short out and explode and you'll die. Very sad. If I stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your trouble. Uh, could you stop with the insincere comments? <laughs> I knew it! I knew he was just dunking on us. <laughs> Jeez. Trying to save his life here. All right, um... Oh! How's it going down there? We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. Uh, I see! It's time. Please bring in the prisoner. But, 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 that chair! It hasn't been used in a long time! Wh what if... Bailey? There's nothing we can do now. It's time. Alright. I'll send the guards to his cell. I'll have them call when they get into position. Okay, yeah, let's go over there. Also, hello, Necro Keys! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Yeah, welcome in. Great to see you. I 
a strange feeling of uneasiness. How about you? How do you feel? I feel jumpy and jittery. I can't sit still. I feel like I might start dancing at any minute. If you're gonna dance, let me know. I'll get the video camera ready. Nobody will listen to my concerns. Concerns, huh? So he's worried? That man is always worried about something. And whatever he's worried about, it always comes true, without fail. Okay. Uh. Oh! Chat bubble. Listen to me! That chair is dangerous! I know, Bailey. That's why I don't advise you to sit on it. No, no, no! That's not what I meant! Machines like that are very sensitive to dust. If the guys throw the switch and the chair shorts out, there might be a huge explosion down there in that death chamber. Oh, come on! Nothing's gonna happen! Besides, even on the off chance it does blow up, we're way up here. We'll be fine. I know! Why don't we go and test it out first? No way. I don't want to get blown up. You go by yourself. So this spot would be safe, even if it does blow up, eh? What is it? You have a new look in your eye. Switch in the death chamber is thrown. The chair will blow up. That's right. And if the chair blows up, the execution can't be carried out. It only stands to reason. And if there's nobody in the death chamber when the chair explodes, nobody will die. Precisely. Very nice, Sissel. You've hit upon some excellent points there. Okay, I'm starting to see a plan now. Okay, so we have to somehow get that to uh, go off. All right, it's no use. I can't use the phone lines right now. Right now? I can only move over phone lines in the past when it's in use. Sadly, this applies to the internal extensions as well. I see. Looks like life is tough for everyone. Even you. You too. Keying the chair to short out when nobody's around it. It sounds like it could be a plan. But in this past world, I can't just use the phone lines whenever I want. And these guards seem to be in a fog. I doubt they'll be using the phone much. Hmm, maybe I need to start over? Yeah, I guess we'll start over then. jump over okay this time we'll like stay here instead of going over to the guards room I'll have them call when they get into position okay so stay here So there should be another call then, and that's when we can move around. Oh, here we go. I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoner to you now. Got it. Okay, let's go there.
There, we escaped from the death chamber. Good for you! It was stuffy in there, wasn't it? It's not exactly what I was worried about. Alright, what now? Hmm, stop the execution and save your life. I think I'm getting an idea. You are, are you? I'd be very interested to hear it. Let's just get down there. Fast! Okay, uh... Da -da. Open up! Whoop! Alright! My jam grooved out the clog! Now get down there to Sausage Head! Go, go, go! quick in the present world four minutes into the future sausage head was lying passed out in the tunnel not knowing about the execution he must have kept digging and digging. And the guards didn't notice he was gone? So I guess Curry Man's future has now changed a bit. Yes, fate changed! We're getting somewhere. Sissel, I'm sure you know this, but time is ticking. Almost time for the execution. If you don't execute a plan pretty soon, it's gonna get tough. I think I do have a plan. Do you? I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to seeing what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna try to solve this. Only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all this trouble you're going to for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. This guy. Oh, let me catch up with chat here. Um, oh, I want to see the clip. <laughs> the necro clip. Oh my gosh. Those chickens. No, there's so many. Wait, what? One touch and you're dead? <laughs> what is going on? This is madness. Ah, uh, let's see. Hit by a chicken would outright kill you. Wow, that's nuts. Okay, uh, so I could ring this, but why would I do that? Should I, should I ring the bell? I'll just ring the bell. <laughs> Get back down there. <laughs> I like how we just stopped him from staying down there. <laughs> we just ordered him to go back in. Because then we can create a path to the um, generator room? Oh no, he's not gonna go without a note. Uh, okay. Oh! Oh, I was supposed to hitch on the, uh, the spoon. I understand. I get it. Okay, take two. Yes, get the spoon. Okay. Can I move down there? Yes. Okay, um, can you use the phone? Alright, now I'm over in uh, 
Jode's prison cell. Uh, yeah, let's just, <laughs> let's just open this. You want tomato sauce? That's too bad. Did you see that? That huge can just went flying up into the air. Yeah, that's my ketchup can. Ketchup? I just love ketchup. Can't get enough of this stuff. I probably have ketchup running through my veins. Hmm, just can't seem to muster a laugh over that one. But it did make kind of a red O mark. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> the circle. Should we try to get the napkin? And use the can to stamp that red circle on it, and then he flushes it down the toilet? How would I do that? Okay, let's just- let's just stay here. Hmm. Did I ruin my chance already with <laughs> with the can? I feel like I did. This thing is as full as I am. Ah, yes. Okay. So I think I think I need to time the uh, launching the can when he's just uh, positioning the napkin over the trash. Maybe. Okay. We got this. Just stay right here. Whew, you sure can pack it away. A detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. That's why I always say. And you have a young pupil that follows that advice to the letter. What are you going to do now, Sissel? As long as these iron bars are here, escape is impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. I'm looking for a path now. Maybe something here will give me an idea. Okay, so we launch the can onto the napkin. It gets flushed down the toilet. Sausage Man will see the letter, uh, see the napkin, and he'll start trying to dig a tunnel. And then we can hitch a ride on his spoon and go to the generator room. Oh no! I zoned out! <laughs> no! Ah, oh, nuts. Okay, take, take 25. <laughs> I think it's only the third take. Yeah, I <laughs> I definitely need to focus when he's uh when he's eating. Okay. Yeah, I thought there would be more time. Okay. Okay, he's almost done. That just looks like a good meal. But he did say it was cold. Yes! There we go! Let's, uh, yes. Be the napkin. Okay, we're getting there.
All right, so I just need to remember to to uh, possess the spoon. Okay, that's the toilet. There we go. We're the spoon. Sausage head sure looks happy. So now that he's seen the uh, O paper, he'll go down to the tunnel to dig. Maybe this is the chance I've been waiting for. <gasps> oh no! Here come my escorts. Uh-oh. I still haven't found my path yet. I see mine quite clearly. Path to the chair, that is. What do I do? Okay. Is this enough? No, not yet. Come on, sausage head! Yes! Alright. Here? Manipulate? Oh, okay. It's already- it's already good. So let's lower the lever. What- what just happened? The power's down throughout the whole facility! No, no way! If if the power's down, that means all the cell bars open automatically. Damn it! The internal phones aren't working either. State of emergency. Now the execution can't be carried out, and your life is saved. Fate averted! Boom! <laughs> Thank you for the GGs. <laughs> You're a pretty daring guy. I really enjoyed myself. I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it true what the guard said? The cell bars open automatically? Yep, it's true. It's a little drawback to the system. If the entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prisoner's safety. But nobody thought it would actually ever happen. So in other words, now's the time to escape if you're gonna. Anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's get back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, let me give you one piece of advice. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon? Huh? You'll see when we get back, Sissel. Okay, go to the spoon. What is the present like now? Now the execution can't be carried out. Detective Jode is safe for the moment. A new present has been born. However, Jode still isn't safe from execution, of course. I guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison. Woohoo! Yes, save! Awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. Chapter 9. So it's now 11.13 p.m. Now I'm back in the present, and it's completely shrouded in darkness. I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With the power failure, all the cell bars open automatically. Plus, now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lin. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now in just as much danger as before. Uh 
Okay, and now they're back there trying to work, uh, trying to fix it up. Huh. Okay, we're the spoon. The detective told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present. So here I am. The bell! Better go back. Phew! I'm back. Thank goodness someone flushed his toilet. That was good timing. Now to use the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. But first I have to find him. <gasps> it's prisoner C-74! Secure the prisoner! Whoa! We got night vision goggles and <laughs> full gear. Hmm, it looks like there are hunters in this darkness. I hope they haven't found Detective Jode. This is some true darkness. But luckily, darkness doesn't exist in the ghost world. I can make use of that fact to help me find the detective. Okay, well let's go to his prison cell. Can I trick it? Huh? Huh? What's that red light? Hmm, it looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. <gasps> there he is! Oh my gosh! He's like a spear! Doesn't look like escape is going to be easy. Oh my gosh, I have a really vague memory of just absolutely struggling with this level the first time I played this game. <laughs> okay, um... Uh, hatch mechanism. Okay, we'll make note of that. Yeah, big circle, small head. <laughs> He's just a boy. How do I go over there? Maybe I have to wait for the guard to make his loop back? Okay, not yet. <laughs> Come on, let's just move over a little bit more. Ah, oh, he's not gonna move. Okay. So we don't want to be there. Um, where's the rocker fellow? I'm just gonna open these. What's the worst thing that could happen? Okay, uh, got that. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing I could do. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right. I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times, not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. A route that made use of Sausage Head's spoon and my napkin. This detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, it looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? This could be interesting. Let's do it. He is so cool. <laughs> so, let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. 
Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see you, uh, to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move to, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine. But how? The dead don't have voices. Even if they did, we have to be quiet. Don't you worry about that. I have an idea. Let's just try it, and you'll see how it works. This detective likes to just dive right into things, even more than Lynn does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we could just start over, right? He says cheerfully. He is so bold. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There ain't, aren't any dangerous criminals here. Except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards, at most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So it's all about staying out of the guard's line of sight, eh? Make sure you guide me to safe spots. Okay, so we talked about the escape strategy and prison security. Uh, so let's go for it. Now, about that signal I want you to give me. Oh, yeah. How am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but... I can sense your powers now. You, you what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? I am. Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. Oh, that reminds me of the couple at the chicken kitchen. When the lady seemed to like notice that we were moving around in ghost form. Wow, but wait, what? <laughs> but has she been dead before? Uh, I think it's more like a detective sense. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see this R here? Yeah, where did that come from? <laughs> From the developers? <laughs> Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you press R, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. So, for example... If you move to that spoon and press R, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? All right, fine. Let's start our escape plan. <laughs> Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Sissel. Oh, Jode. I killed you so many times in my first playthrough. <laughs> I was a horrible tour guide. So, that red light. That's the light of the night vision goggles on one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Okay. 
I wonder if I can move around. Okay, so there's a guard up there. Stationary, I guess. Moving right. There's another guard. Seems to also be stationary. Uh, I'm somewhere in the bottom right. And there's nothing, so I'm gonna move left. If I can. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we want to time this. Can he- can he come here? Like, if I do this? That's a little far. I can't really tell- tell where you are. How about somewhere a little closer? Okay, that's too far. Like, underneath the- the table? Aw, oh, to be continued. <laughs> if he enters a guard's field of vision, it's over. I have to watch the movement of the red lights. First thing to do is take a good look around and check out what the enemy is doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I understand. For now, how about just aiming for the neighboring cell? We can't hurry too much in this darkness. Let's take it slow. Okay, so we should go to the... to Sausage Head's cell? Okay. No, you big dungus! <laughs> I thought you would go... to... underneath the table! Oh my god. Okay, what are you thinking right now? <laughs> now that you're out in the open, let's have a chat. Uh, I feel a little uncomfortable out in the open like this. I bet you do. You're wide open. Well, can you lead me to somewhere safe then? The guards can't help but notice me where I am right now. <laughs> no, I don't need to talk about the safe strategy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, no. Okay, uh, okay, let's close that. No! Ah, oh, okay. Okay, that was the flaw. I understand. I thought he would go underneath the table and I was I was wrong. So I guess we'll try to go to where the spoon is. <laughs> like is the spoon a good distance away where they can tell where to go? Oh, maybe right here. Go, go, go! You got this, man! Okay. The guards are on the move. Now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. I think you already know this, but... Just in case. If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen with the D-pad. Okay, how far are you going? Oh, I, I missed my chance to hitch a ride. They're going pretty far. Are they going up the stairs or something? Come back. Are you feeling intense right now? Are you feeling any pressure? I certainly do. <laughs> eh. okay. Yeah, okay. Dang. So how far can I go? We'll just keep hitching a ride and looking at the ghost world to see where's some safe areas. Any safe areas? No. Huh, there's something up there. Another latch?
Ooh, okay. Maybe we get him to hide underneath, uh, hide underneath the staircase. And look at this guy, he's just camping. Okay. Hmm, this area under the stairs is a blind spot for the guards. They won't find him here. This spot is safe. Okay. Does he have, like, much time? No, he doesn't. Well, how can I time this? Like, when should he move? Like, I don't know if I should have him start moving now. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, <gasps> what? Ah, oh, the top person sees them? No! <laughs> what, what just happened? Apparently, there was a hunter lurking in the ceiling. Could you do something about him? It's so dark, I can't even see the bullet coming. So... What? He dodged the bullet if it wasn't dark? Okay, so mess with the the mechanism for the hunter in the ceiling. I thought he wouldn't be a problem. But now we know. Now we know better. to think of like animals that hide underneath like my porch or something they act like that <laughs> this is perfectly tucked away i wonder what he's thinking right now good this is a safe spot you did well sissel but unfortunately there aren't any more bunks guess we have to find another safe spot then and could you do it as quickly as possible this position is killing my back this could be difficult. Okay. <laughs> the, the wait is forever. So anyways, how's everyone <laughs> everyone's day going? Hopefully pretty pretty good. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we need to go all the way up there. Where can I... Maybe when he gets a little bit closer. Ugh. Yes. Ooh, okay. So I can do this. Yeah. A valve. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> okay, let's just open this. Right? Just drop him down? Ah! Well, now I've got two guards walking around. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and close this back up. Wait, guys. Wait for me. How am I supposed to guide him over there? This is so crazy. I want to see the other one's movements. I hope he doesn't go back into position and start camping. Oh, he's starting to camp again. Is he? No, he's not. Okay. He just went upstairs. Excellent. Alright, so now I just need to figure out um, the timing.
I don't know if I should like wait to press it when the guard is finally directly up the stairs. Okay, get a little closer. Maybe now? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, next is the stairs. I'll have to avoid those guards somehow. But where should I lead you to? There isn't a safe spot anywhere. We'll just have to wait till the guards go past somewhere on the stairs. Even the craziest spot will do. If it's strength you're worried about, I have plenty of that. Can you use that strength to knock the guards out for me? Well, they do say my punches are faster than a speeding bullet. I have my doubts about that, though. Yeah, I guess a punch is no match for a bullet. Okay, so on the stairs, and it's okay if it's kind of bold. So maybe out in the open? So does he want to be here? Or... Go, go, go! <laughs> this is so stressful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, crouch down. I can't- I can't do anything! <laughs> no! Well, this isn't looking good. Uh... Hi. No! <laughs> it's just his legs. <laughs> Don't shoot my legs. I used to be a prisoner like you until I took a bullet to the knee. I just can't seem to find the break I need. I think I'll just have to make one. Try to find a way. Maybe you can try calling me to all kinds of different places. I'm agreeable. I can go pretty much anywhere. Where where can you go to? I mean, like, I couldn't... I didn't see anywhere I could move you to. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> Letting us start off right here. I would be so sad if I had to do the whole sequence again. Okay, so we lucked out with that. Um... Alright, so I guess I'll just stay here. So this is not where he needs to be. Maybe I need to latch onto the guard. Oh, here's a dude. Hello. Okay, okay. Anywhere? No, not yet. There we go. <laughs> Wait, if I... Huh? Okay. I've, I've dropped him down. <laughs> now what happens? Uh... Do I get him to run to the top of the stairs? Hmm. Okay, now there's two guards. I don't know how to- <laughs> I don't know how to time this. And no problem, Mitchell. Thank you for the lurk. I know it's pretty late over there. So this guy just heads up. What if I just keep this open then? This is very tricky, but we got this. Oh, he's about to fall down again. <laughs> See ya. Brutal, absolutely brutal. 
I, I get them to fall, so that should be my opening. Uh... Whoa! <laughs> what did he do? A backflip? Okay, now they're both going upstairs. Hmm, I am totally stuck. Um, all right, I'm just gonna close this and just <laughs> try to get him to run. We'll just try that. Or, or maybe. Just this? It's a little far. I can't really tell where you are. How about somewhere a little closer? Ah, nuts. So, I do have to get him to go to the can then. No, I can't do that because how would I jump over here? We'll just- we'll just try it. We'll just try it. YOLO. As they always say. Right? Those fools have to hurt. I thought he would- <laughs> I thought he would be out of the- uh, like, knocked out. Or do I have to, like, time his falls? Wait, what? He could just go over there. Hmm. Well, what? You want, you want me to climb up into the ceiling? I think I could manage that. But as things stand, I don't have access right now. Could you open that hatch and create an entry point for me? Oh, what? Really? Like... Come on up! Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> the freeze frame. <laughs> Okay, so now we know that he's supposed to go in the ceiling. All right. <laughs> so we have a lead now. That's good. Uh, he shouldn't have ran that far left, right? That's what I'm saying. Like he should have been, he should have been good. Or maybe because I selected this, and that's why it was, that's why he ran that far left. So let's just select this one. When this guard leaves. Okay, let's do this. Get up there. That's gotta hurt. Okay, let's Cl close this. Yeah, very nice. Okay, let's talk to him now. <laughs> I bet you didn't think I could get up in here, did you? I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, this is a safe spot. It's not much further now. On now, don't worry, we're almost there. Now, we have the choice of either trying to sneak out or making a dash for it. 
I'll leave the route up to you. Oh, up to me. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't have me decide. So sneak out or make a run for it. Where is the other guard? Is he still up there? Or is that a different person? Okay, that was a different person. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You could do it! Whoa, look at those! Look at his movement. If I move now, I'm gonna fall. Could you close that floor hatch for me? Go, go, go! Go, go, go! No, no, please! Oh, no! <laughs> we're, we're out in the open. This is not good. Okay. Um. Well, we're in a bit of a pickle. Can you make the guard fall? Right. Or will he shoot before he falls? He will shoot before he falls. <laughs> We came all that way! We were so close! Right. Once we get to this point, you can either sneak out or make a dash for it. I'll leave the route up to you. I might have mentioned this before, but... I can go pretty much anywhere. Okay, so should we just continue in the ceiling? Because I just see the other valve, but I don't- I can't really go anywhere else. Oh no! I forgot to latch on. Okay, it's fine. We could take- we could take this moment to chillax. I don't want that guard. That's not my guard. How did you manage to escape? <laughs> because you let your guard down. Okay, we're getting there. Yeah, when they say sneak or make a dash for it, I'm just, um, not sure what path they're talking about. <laughs> Thanks for the Sipuer star. <laughs> <laughs> An F for effort. <laughs> okay, make him fall. Ah! Oh. I think what really kills me is um waiting <laughs> waiting for the timing but i just have to be patient okay almost okay there we are Man, I can't even imagine actually taking a tumble that far down. <laughs> hey, Koopa! <laughs> Great to see you! Yes, Koopa, I remember, like, struggling with this level the first time I played. And I can't remember how I beat it. <laughs> so I know he can go up into the ceiling, um, and then I'm stuck from there. 
Okay, so we just gotta get the timing right so we can jump back in the ceiling. Like, now? Okay, there we go. Maybe we'll just close this. Can we tell him to go over here? <laughs> He's rolling! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect him to roll like that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Let's see. Uh, I just recovered from a bug I caught during the weekend. I had to get COVID tested today. And the results, uh, results ended up negative. Oof. Well, that's good. That's good, Koopa. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, um, I see a lot of people with, like, a really bad cough uh, lately. So I wonder if there is a bug coming, uh, going around. Ooh, I wonder if I latch onto the guard, he'll walk further to the left, and then I could, uh, do something? We'll do that. Let's go for a ride. Yes! Okay! Okay! We got this! We got this! Oh, well, thank you for the alert, Koopa! <laughs> but yeah, I hope you start recovering and feeling, uh, feeling better. <laughs> Thanks for the GG! <laughs> Gee whiz! Okay, uh, we get in there. Okay, so there's a guard here. Does he move? Ooh, okay. I can't play the guitar, but I can play the drums. Yes, yes, we got this. Take a tumble. See ya. Ah, <laughs> that's got to hurt. All right, um, go over here. <laughs> My rolling ball friend. Okay, we'll close the floor hatch. Yes! Boom! There we go! So, what do you think? I'd say, if we've come this far, we did it! Great job, Sissel! Yes! The basement generator has been repaired! Restoring power to all areas. Woohoo! We just made it! But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to myself. That, you, you better be kidding. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. I doubt anybody would welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escaped death row convict is supposed to just report into the justice minister? Is that it? Hmm, I kind of like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I'd better run. That would be nice, yes. Alright, Cecil. Until we meet again! So now I've saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lin at this point. Detective Joad was painting my picture in a cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. Woo! 
that was a toughie. Oh my goodness. Nothing left but an empty cell. No sense in staying here. I might as well go back. Back upstairs using the internal phone. Okay. Alright, ring ring. Guard room. The Detective Jodes, until we meet again, came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the guard room, the next fateful call came in. Hello, this is... Sissel, are you there? Hello? Who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you. If you make it in time, that is. Hey, wait a minute! Trace complete. What was that? That call! Who was it from? I don't know. Some weird call. Ah, but who? We'll call an end to my dancing. Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a contest then! Which will stop first? My dancing or the turning of the planet? <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> That's the easiest poll ever. Like the prediction. <laughs> we'll stop dancing first. Him or Earth? My money's on this guy. Hmm. But I could do that dance by now. But I'm more concerned with the detective's message. I better get over there. Fast. Okay. Let's, let's just go. External line. Somewhere over here. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. that our great escape plan has ended in failure. Never expected to see you here, Inspector Cabanella. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. Couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears, there you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. Wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Cause now that I found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean, after all. Whoa! Wait, there's a dialogue. A thought bubble. Is there certainly something between these two? Is it a warm something? Or is it cold? 
Or is it Babylon Zool? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Thank you for the uh, resub! Oh my gosh, three months! Also, Ahave, hello! I see you! <laughs> Have a good lurk sleep! Thank you for stopping by! Um, hey yo, thanks for all the GG's, laughs, and great times. Love your streams, keep up the great work. Oh, thank you, Zul. It's always a pleasure to have you around. It's so much fun, including everyone here. Um, streaming, I've, I've met a lot of great people. <laughs> um, and yeah, just playing games and hanging out, it's even better. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you, welcome in. <laughs> we just got stuck in between a, a tense moment. Whatever it is, it's immeasurably deep. I should probably see what Detective Jode has to say. Okay, let's talk to him. Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? Death is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right. Your lost memory. You know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? In return for tonight's fun little game? Is that it? Oh man, we're just gonna go with this interview while he's got a gun pointing at him. This is crazy. Okay, about me. About Sissel. I saw it, you know. That picture you were painting in your cell tonight. That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but... I can't talk to you about that right now. What? What? Why not? Because I... I don't know your true face. My... true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However... I can give you one lead, at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lin something to hold on to for me. It was a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lynn's apartment! And that's the only help I can give you right now. Wow, the music box! But that girl, uh, Camilla, has it. And we don't know where she is. She was supposed to be at the Chicken Kitchen restaurant. But she wasn't there. What happened? <laughs> About Cabanella. That man pointing the gun at you right now. They say he's your good friend. We were when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation unit. The top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is a symbol of his determination. His white coat? For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go with the black coat that didn't show the stains. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. 
But everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Campanella has chosen the path of the white coat. And he'd do anything, anything at all, to hide his coat's shadows. Like send his good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal, after all. And that's why he has that gun pointing at me right now. Dang. I feel like there's more to Cabanella, though. Well, let's ask about the execution. Is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial, and that's what was decided. No problem there. But still... This is the punishment that I should receive. In order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there? I... I was sentenced to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean, that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? What? Jeez, the other murder. What? What? It was ten years ago. I'll never forget it. That day, I saved the life of a little girl. I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl. Could that little girl be... Lynn? She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just come down and drop that weapon. S stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then. I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jode, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. I took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... Execution. Man, I don't- I don't know. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. 
On that, you can rely. Sissel, you've got your own path to follow. You'd better hurry. My own path? Lin is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? Might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. H hello Everything's fine here! Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Uh, um... The, the chicken kitchen is next door! Goodbye! Hmm... It sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Sissel? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. What is that? A locket? Pocket watch? A present, if you will. There's nothing li else like it, baby. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. What's this? A pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Sissel. Let me just leave you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope, and no cores either. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected. I guess I'd better go find Lin. I'll follow the path Detective Joad pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office, where Lin went to try and stop the execution. Woo! We finished that level! Oh my goodness! Uh, whoa! Zul! <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits! Sadly, I need uh, need to mostly lurk, but I wanted to come in and drop that resub. Also, it's dangerous to go alone here. Take this. <laughs> Thank you so much. And those emotes are awesome. I love the the more you know. <laughs> the more you know star. Thank you so much. Also, me, papa, was sir, dude, or duder. Or, you know, el duderino. Every <laughs> time the whole brevity thing is good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Zul. And uh, yes, have a good lurk. Thank you again for stopping by. It's always great to see you. <laughs> we, we got a new song called Trauma. Jeez. Alright, let's save there. Alright, and let's keep moving forward. Okay, chapter 10, 11.41pm. So that's crazy. Everything started, like the same night at 7.02 p.m. So it's just a couple hours now. 
Uh, now that my assignment to stop the execution had ended in such an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Lin at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Joad's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lin about it? I just don't know. This time, Lin isn't dead, but the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. I love that party parrot emote. <laughs> what happened here? I'm glad Lin isn't dead. But what in the world is she doing? Then again, do I really want to know? <laughs> this is a uh, weird positioning. Oh no! Someone is dead. <laughs> this is very. This is very not good. Uh, let's talk to Lin first. Eek! What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but... Well, and? How did it go? Was Detective Jode still alive? He'd already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... You did? Oh, I'm so glad. Wait a minute, did you say but? I told Lin about my adventure at the prison. About that other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Caminella arrested Detective Jode? I can't believe it! Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that wherever I go, somebody is always dead. Either you, or someone else. Sorry about that. So, who's that lying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed him, did you? Uh, that's the Justice Minister. The man who signed the order to carry out Detective Jode's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Shouldn't you have called for help, in that case? Hmm, I guess so. But I'm wanted, remember? For murder? I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We, eh? Oh boy. <laughs> Everyone's always dying! Let's talk to him. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Could you rescue him now, while he's still unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it'll be faster to just see for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go then, to four minutes before his death. Let's rewind time and see what happened. Okay, Minister's Office. Oh, excuse me. What? All right. I'll do as you say. This is terrible. Why 
why doesn't she answer? dying right now. Jeez. B medicine. That was so unfortunate. Oh my goodness. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up? He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The rule of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like you could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say... A pathetic man. That's the more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That the foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Just call me a uh, seeker of truth. Sidestepped that one, didn't he? Yes, Koopa. I remember struggling with this one too. I think in the later levels it just gets pretty difficult. Okay. No need to think too hard about this one. All I have to do is get his medicine to him. Pretty simple. But there's one more thing that concerns me. What was that telephone call the Justice Minister got all about? It was right after that that his health took an instant downturn. Tsk. I've never seen such a foolish, pathetic, and strange man. Uh, I think you'd better stop there. <laughs> Need more positivity, my man. Get some self-love or something. Oh, excuse me. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Wh who is this? Uh, Emily's tutor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? N no I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. Wh what what? But my daughter! Is she alright? Tell me she's alright! Here for yourself. demands I believe we already made our demand known the other day oh so it was you and have you complied has the execution been carried out uh, I didn't do it because of your demand I did it because 
that's my job! Yes. Yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You'd do well to remember that. Uh -huh. And of course it goes without saying. We're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police. Is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. Alright. I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Whoa. Yeah, let's go there. What? So that's why they rushed the execution order? wonder where we are now. Apparently, the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea word of tonight's deal had leaked. Papa, help! I'm gonna be killed! I hate you, Mama! Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that the Justice Minister could hear her voice. But what's taking the goods so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. Huh, so it's all a recording? I miss passing. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, I don't think we could do anything here. So let's just go back. Oh, we can't... I can't use the phone right now. Like I said, all women are like traps. That and this are hardly related. When in the past, I can only use a line when the phone is being used to make a call. Uh-oh. This woman doesn't show any signs of moving from that spot. And I can't use the telephone line either. It looks like I fell into a trap. All women are like traps. Some are sweet traps. Others are bitter. Don't you understand that? Okay. Uh, anyway, I think I'd better rethink things here. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's start from the beginning. There's so much going on in this town. Okay, so don't... Uh, let's just stay as a phone. Does he get, like, another call? Okay, let's just go through this. Oh, I can press B and fast forward? Whoa, this is insanely useful! <laughs> Hey, it's not too late to discover this. This is amazing. Okay. Because he does make, like, one more phone call. This is terrible. A kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what the word means. But it's apparently the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. I better do something about that medicine.
I have to call my wife. I have to see if it's true. Maybe they called the wrong person. This minister doesn't accept the truth easily. He's morally bankrupt. Okay, now you're taking it too far. His wife won't answer for some reason. Hmm, a wife who doesn't answer her phone. I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't that man understand that? Now I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. Yeah, but I know who it is. Uh, it's no use, the line isn't working. Hmm. Okay, apparently it only works if the other party answers. Oh, okay. Alright, so it's not gonna work then. So this medicine stops the minister's attacks, eh? If I could, I'd spill them onto his desk right now. But unfortunately, I can't even open the cap. What a shabby excuse for a man. Huh? He wears his important looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. But what does he have inside? Nothing. A miserable, shabby excuse for a man. I think you've already said quite enough. <laughs> He's very upsetting. No mom spaghetti either. Okay, let's look at the water pitcher. If only he could at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks his pitcher to the floor at the end of his four minutes. Such a stupid man. Huh? Once water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well, why do people still spill water pitches? I don't know. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it? He's so bad. Ooh, okay, let's flap this. Okay, wait. Wait, not that. Oh. Okay, that... Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Alright, alright. Okay. I can't move. Uh... He is literally dying and I can't- I can't move anywhere. I can't go to the ceiling. Okay, um... This is turning out pretty bad. Uh-oh, here it comes. His worry and anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man. Huh? If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple! Why doesn't he understand? But there wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up now. I like how when you're saying that stuff, it kind of reminds me of that guy in Office Space. Like, I'm a people person! Don't you understand? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Uh. Oh, oh, let's swing the sword. Let's knock it back. That didn't, that didn't, that didn't do anything. <laughs> no, he's dying. I just have to get this medicine to the minister. But, hmm. There are only a few seconds left. It isn't enough time. Such a short sighted man. Huh? Happiness escapes us just as we are about to pull it in. We have to grab it while we can. Not only happiness, but dreams, love, and hope too. Clearly, someone here is overly naive. Anyway, there isn't enough time to do anything in the state. I think I'd better rethink this from the beginning. 
<laughs> I have people skills. What is wrong with you people? That's my favorite line in the movie. Lines. Because those are plural. If he could just get some of that water, he might feel a little better. Did he just say something constructive? Okay, so focus on the water. I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Let's <laughs> turn. I don't know what this does. Uh, undo the hanger. R rock the basket. Oh no. <laughs> there was only a single foot up. To save the minister, I have to get him his medicine. But as things are, there just isn't enough time. Such unparalleled cowardice this man has. Before I get the medicine to him, I think I have to buy some time first. Guess I better rewind the clock again. Okay, so we'll focus on the water pitcher since they, they told us to do that. But what do with the water pitcher? Do I just flap this when he is having a panic? Oh, oh! When the water pitcher starts to tumble, I smack it with the flag to keep it balanced on the table. Okay. Look at that thing launch. Okay, we got this. <laughs> We're, we will get him to hydrate. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Oof. There! That should help. At least now he's had some water. <laughs> Thanks for the GG's! He's still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay. At least now I bought some time to get his medicine to him. Fate change! Yes! Yes! Okay. Now we, uh... Wait, now what do we do? I can't move! Uh... The minister's fate has changed. But the situation still seems the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Maybe I should start over from the beginning. Wait, really? There was a path while he was drinking the Oh! Oh, I understand. I should have been the water pitcher so I can jump up to the ceiling fan. Right? Oh, oh no. I have to legit start from the beginning. So when he's pouring that pitcher into his, the water into his mouth, that's when I'm supposed to be there. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. You know what? This is probably a good time to hydrate, too. <laughs> ah, okay. Now I had some water, too. This is awesome. Thank you, game. All 
right? So as soon as we balance it, I have to jump into the water pitcher. There we go. All right. I guess you could say I'm a big fan in this game. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, pressing B. That's right. <laughs> Alright, so we bought more time. So let's spin harder. Whoa! Oh, okay! Yes! Alright! Okay, time for the next step. Now, about this medicine bottle. If the minister is going to make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I'll just have to use my head instead. Okay. Eh. Curtain. Close. Sure. Privacy. <laughs> Don't look. Don't look at us. <laughs> uh... Raise? What is supposed to go... I'm just gonna do both of them. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> so we did that. It's a pretty light frame for its size. There sure are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen man. He deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about Fallen Man. You talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is what order the objects are dropped in. Oh no! That's a... Uh, I know this thing maybe is supposed to... To fall, but how? Okay! <laughs> Whack it now. <laughs> hmm, that was so close. If the swing just had a little more reach to it, I think I'd better look for something else. Oh, oh, oh maybe I was supposed to get the globe to fall, but what if would it have punctured on the sword? Did I already mess up? Okay, let's just take a gander. I wonder what this does. Nothing important. No! This is the wrong sword! Okay, I made mistakes. From the beginning again. <laughs> the sea pooer star. That's how I feel right now. Okay. It's too bad we can't go back to like the fate change because I have to wait until he lowers the pitcher down. Okay. Got this. Thank you. 
So I need to spin the globe around. Uh... Okay, let's just fast forward through that. Okay. Here. Okay. Um, I wonder if I need to mess with this picture frame at all. a lot heavier than it looks. It's made out of some pretty thick iron. I wouldn't want to drop that on my foot. I don't have feet, so I guess I don't have to worry. Oh, I hope that won't block the way. Oh, oh wait, wait. Now do we drop it and then we create a ramp? Is that what happens? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna try. Once an urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. I guess I better think carefully about what I drop and when. Oh, okay, so... I just need to stare at this for a moment here. So the urns are for weight. Okay. Uh, hmm. So I want the light urn first, and then I dropped the board? And then afterwards I dropped the heavy urn to launch the globe? Somehow? Is that...? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Well... <laughs> oh no! We're stuck again. Try to go back to the fate change. Okay, cool. We could do that. <laughs> we could have just done that. Because it counts us as a fan. That's great. Thank you. Okay, let's see if I understand the ordering correctly. So, like... Do I want the the light urn down first? Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Undo the frame. We're gonna drop the frame now. Yes! <laughs> it's so exciting! It's like, oh my god! I hope this is it. Okay, um, drop the frame. Yep. I, d I don't think I. Huh. But if I spin this. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna worry about it. I was worried that the fruit will hit the sword, but I don't know if that's a bad thing. 
Okay. Let's drop the ball. Okay. We're there. Yes, now let's uh, rock this. Oh, it was the other way. <laughs> no. Okay, but I think I think we have it. I think we pretty much have the solution there. <laughs> I messed it up at the very end. <laughs> when I saw that fruit fall on the sword, I knew my life was over. It was <laughs> just all over. Okay. Let's let's do it fast mode. Fast but careful. <laughs> okay, turn the globe around. Yes. Then spin. Good. And drop the frames. I'm just gonna like turn this around <laughs> so I can just in case I forget. All right. Bada bing. Okay, now we drop the glue. Okay. And now we spin the fruit. Yes, yes, yes. And now we can do this. Uh not not that, the arm. <laughs> Whoa, look at that airtime. My my medicine. Ah. Oh. Don't try this at home, kids. Just take the <laughs> the prescribed amount. Be careful about it. Uh, there! The minister finally took his medicine! I think maybe he even took too much medicine. Such a greedy man. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Ah, cut the guy some slack. There! See? Look, he's all better! <laughs> Clear the too much medicine challenge! <laughs> this is the worst challenge. Don't ever do that at home. <laughs> uh, yeah, you called it, Woozy. Ugh, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope you learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. So the Justice Minister is now back to life, but the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. And apparently, our Lady Detective is the present cause of those furrows. Look, Detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. 
But there was no evidence! All he had was his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me! Mr. Minister, please listen to me! I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. Wh what So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. B but When he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as a justice minister. That's all there is to it. Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the justice minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Sizzle! There you are! It sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right! He is! Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all! The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn about why I learned about the kidnapping. K kidnapping? They kidnapped the justice minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness. But still. That's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the justice minister then? Uh -huh. The poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way. Do you think you could carry me? Oh, right. Sure. Not very handy, is it? Having no legs. Uh, we're gonna freak him out like this. What are you gonna do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this... Er... <laughs> Pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question. Were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing. As ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? There's no such thing! This is all a dream! It's nothing but a dream! <laughs> Spooky time sucks! This is too much spook! Don't you remember me? <laughs> My dream is talking to me! Huh. So now I'm a dream, eh? Hmm. 
Mr. Minister? We know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. <laughs> Your medicine! Medicine! <laughs> He's dying. Someone please help him. Go! Oh, what am I gonna do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Emily. But what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Ah! Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. <laughs> what can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping. In the only way I know how. Okay. Let's talk to Lin first. Don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean, the demand is to carry out an execution that was already set to be carried out. It's just like the minister said, there's no need for such a kidnapping. Hmm, you might be right. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no. There's no such thing. No such thing. I'm a realist! I'll never believe in them! Not in the existence of ghosts! Not in this escape from prison! And not in this kidnapping! Hmm. This realist is running away from several very real facts. At high speed, too. Anyway, let me try and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Oh, that's right! You have their telephone number! I think I'll go see what these kidnappers look like. And let's talk to the minister. We meet again, Mr. Minister. Wh what I've never seen you before! In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake! Uh, I'm not a dream. Looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn justice minister. Uh, please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head! <laughs> That's what he literally did when he died. Just kept smack-talking himself. Okay. Let's dial. So it was this address. I really should pay the kidnappers hideout a visit. After all, if we want the justice minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery. I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble. So I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. Alright, cool! Illustration! <laughs> and a new song. Awesome, let's save there. Okay! Alright, I feel like that's an excellent place to stop off, and on Friday, we'll try to just uh, stop the kidnapping. Try to rescue the daughter, Emily. But yeah, uh, let me get my thanks in order. Uh, thank you, Led, for the raid. Thank you so much. 
uh, Babylon Zoo for the three months resub and for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. Um, and also everyone in here for stopping by, hanging out, and just, yeah, vibing. <laughs> it was so much fun. I love playing these games with you guys. But yeah, you know what? Let us set up the raid now. Um, do, 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 do. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, our a friend of the channel, Ilya Superzar, is playing uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I love their channel. They're so funny, spicy banter, but excellent gameplay too. So yeah, let's go over and say hi to Ilya uh, with this raid message or whatever you want to put. But yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday. All right. <laughs> Take care, everyone, and good night.